Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan. I'm a clinical mental health counseling student at Capella University, and I put out videos every Monday about mental health counseling stuff, graduate student stuff, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in that type of content, please hit the subscribe button. Today I'm going to be talking about KCRIP accreditation and the Counseling Compact. If you are a newer prospective student, you've probably already heard these terms and you've probably already noticed that counseling can look a lot different depending on what state you're in. For example, a lot of states require 3,000 hours of supervised practice after graduation, but that number can vary a lot. Sometimes we will be called licensed clinical professional counselors, sometimes it's licensed mental health counselors, sometimes it's licensed professional counselors. Or you may have even heard of national certified counselors, which is a whole other category. So what happens in the future if you become a therapist and then you want to move to a different state? Or if you have a telehealth practice and you want to be able to practice in multiple states so you can niche down and do something you're really passionate about. So what are your options going to be? Let's talk about it. First, let's talk about KCREP, which stands for Council for the Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs. That's a mouthful. This is the largest and most important accrediting body for counselors in the United States. They accredit addiction counseling, clinical mental health counseling, school counseling, career counseling, rehabilitation counseling, marriage and family counseling, and more. KCREP also accredits doctoral programs in counseling education and supervision. In internship applications and interviews, usually the very first thing I was asked was if my program was KCREP accredited. If the institution you are looking to attend is KCREP accredited, it's probably going to be pretty easy to find this out because this is something that they will want to advertise on their website. And somehow I have found that tuition costs are the same for programs that are accredited versus programs that are not accredited. I actually almost started my graduate school journey at a school that was not KCREP accredited for counseling and they weren't very forthcoming about it. When I asked them directly if they were KCREP accredited, they said, well, yeah, we're accredited to meet the licensure requirements for the state. And I didn't figure out that they weren't KCREP accredited until right before I was about to pay tuition. Since this was a state school, I think they might have been motivated to keep people working as counselors in the state. But personally, I don't think their program provides the same value at all if people can't have a telehealth practice that allows them to practice in multiple states or allows them to move in the future if they need to. You will definitely want to double check that the institution you are about to attend is KCREP accredited by going to www.kcrep.org. They have a directory there that is relatively easy to navigate. Going to a KCREP accredited program is by far the easiest way to become a licensed mental health counselor in multiple states. From what I've seen, it would be basically impossible in a few states to be a mental health counselor without going to a KCREP accredited program. If you are not sure about the licensure requirements for your state, you will have to find this online. These states are typically called like your state's name and then behavioral health board or your state's name and then committee for professional counselors, something like that. Now on to the counseling compact. The counseling compact is essentially an organized movement among now 33 participating states that allows counselors in those states to practice across state lines. This is going to be huge, especially for telehealth counselors. The American Counseling Association is projecting that counselors in compact states will be able to practice in other compact states by the end of this year. If you are just now coming into the field of counseling, this might totally change your career plan. Basically, all of these states will mutually recognize each other's licenses. This will only apply to fully licensed, meaning independently licensed, counselors. So this will not apply to you when you are first practicing as a provisionally licensed counselor or counselor associate, whatever it's called in your state. And there is going to be a process for applying to practice across state lines. It's just not going to be as complicated as getting fully licensed in that new state. Like, for example, there might still be a jurisprudence exam where you have to know those state laws. Also, some fees. So practicing in different states isn't going to be this automatic, super convenient thing. 
The American Counseling Association has poured a lot of resources into making this happen. This would expand career opportunities for counselors. And this can transform the careers of counselors with niche specialties. This is really going to help people seeking distance counseling. There are a lot of states where mental health care is not accessible to a lot of people. Maybe they live in a rural area or there just aren't a lot of counselors who are licensed in their state. This is a systemic problem that is exacerbated by the fact that there aren't enough KCREP accredited programs around, especially in certain areas. I think the Counseling Compact is literally going to save lives because it's going to create a bigger pool of potential therapists. So people in states with a higher need for counseling services can afford to be a little bit more picky and find a therapist that they feel like they can truly connect with and build that therapeutic alliance with. If you've searched for a therapist before, you understand how important it is that you vibe with this person. To stay updated with the developments of the Counseling Compact, you can go to counselingcompact.org. If you are currently a counseling student and you're excited about what's going on in the field as far as the Counseling Compact and being able to work in multiple states, comment below. I would love to hear how this is going to change your career plan. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more future content like this.